What is going on guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you what the quantum realm sounds like using household items. First, you're gonna need to kidnap some lab equipment at home so they become your household items. What? And here's what you're gonna need. A preamplifier. In my case, I'm using this SR560. Something that can do AC coupling and a high pass filter. This is a photodiode, something that can see a visible light. And the most important item of all, a 3.5 mm adapter to a BNC. This is actually not gonna be available anywhere in a hardware store, so you can solder them yourself. You're gonna need a speaker, a BNC cable, power cable, and then you just start plugging them in. Alright guys, and here's what you do with the amplifier. First, you need to AC couple this thing because the photodiode outputs both DC and AC. And then you want a high pass filter, making sure you only hear the noise that is generated by light from the photodiode. My high pass rolls off as 12 dB per octave, so it's pretty steep roll off and I got 3 kHz zero. And you want a high dynamic range, and this gain is depending on your environment. It's pretty bright in my room, so I'm only setting the gain to 50 for now and let's go from there. Let's plug in the photodiode. And all you have to do now is shine a light onto a photodiode. Can you hear the hiss? And that is it guys, the sound you just heard is literally the sound from the quantum realm. It is called short noise and it is caused by the randomness of photons that are hitting the detector. Pretty cool, huh?